Everyone is finally here. What a view! Lovely for a faded reunion, isn't it? Well, we must be prepared for a fight. Regardless of the outcome, things finally seem to be taking a turn for the better. Mondstadt has really been going through so much recently. Huh. In the end, the solution to our problem was as simple as a traveler in a song. I suppose the Knights of Favonius may have played a part in it too. Oh, we get it, Master D. Luke. Everyone, please step aside. I, the best wandering bard of the mortal world, shall begin my performance with the Holy Liar. in your eyes. Sadness that speaks of your yearning for this song. We are communicating. Huh? No! Don't just fart! Do not 
be fooled by him, dear dragon. He left you to rot alone. Now he attempts to deceive you once more. Our battles. Let your wrath bester. Mondstadt has already turned its back on you. Hold on to have me slain by them! No! Listen to me! The time has come for the dragon to serve its true master! <laughs> While you beware your pragmatic shadow, watch the world tremble with fear! Devalin. Barbe! Venti! Please, be careful! <laughs> You've known my true identity for some time now, haven't you, Jean? Though, I thank you for continuing to use the name Venti. How's the Holy Liar? Can it still be played, or does it need to be repaired? <sighs> Unfortunately, I think it's beyond repair. You're right. If we don't fight the evil at its source, then we can't save Devalon at all. In which case, I shall call upon Outrider Amber to track it down. No need. Why is that? I eradicated one not long ago, in one of the Four Winds temples. What? When? If you want to track those monsters down, then I'll seek answers from my contacts. I've got other means for getting the job done. <sighs> Diluc. Though he dislikes the Knights of Favonius, he protects Mondstadt in his own way. Oh? Why does our little Paimon sound so doting all of a sudden? <laughs> Wait for my word. I'll be sure to let the Abyss Order know that their blatant disregard for Mondstadt will not go unpunished.
Ad Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. Astra Abyssoth.
like unwrapping a gift.
what escapes my sight! There's something... Wow, this weather is awesome! Spark things up a little.
Weather is awesome. You can't keep up with me!
Just is like a unwrapping a gift.
buddy. Just gnawing my hip. Push your luck. Freeze. Yeah. Ah. Prepare to be blown away. No escape. Close. Uh, he. Oh, uh, my.
sorry to bother you again. I am delighted to hear that. In which case, let me try to make this quick. We are most grateful for your commission completion to date. The guild's reputation has grown stronger as a result. However, another consequence is that we are receiving an unprecedented number of requests, more than our current numbers can handle. You want us to do some recruitment for you? Uh, no. Although I appreciate the offer. It would be fantastic to have some new members. But scrambling to officially recruit new members at this stage would not really solve our immediate problems. So what I want to ask is, would your friends have the time to help out? Great. Please do. Thank you. Right now, we urgently need to find people for our expeditions. We organize expeditions to explore areas around the city and in the wilderness. It is a way to keep ourselves informed of any emerging dangers, unusual activity in the domains, and so on. Since expeditions are not commissioned by a third party, there are no strict deadlines for completion. However, we neglect them at our peril. If trouble were to foment unchecked, it could easily turn into a major disaster. Pretty important, then. All you need to do is convince them to help. I will take care of all the details. Now, without further ado, let me show you the expeditions that are currently available. You can dispatch someone on an expedition at any time, and they will still be able to join you in your adventures should you need them. You can also choose the length of time for the expedition. After your friend returns, just come here and confirm the outcome. As your adventure rank increases, more dangerous expeditions will become available to you. After all, with epic power comes epic responsibility! And of course, matching risk with experience is also for everyone's safety. Thanks again for your help. I hope you and your friends can help out with our expeditions as much as possible. When you're high up, everyone can hear you. you did a fine job. Outstanding performance considering it was your first time. The requester even asked me to thank you on their behalf. And, as promised, you are due your reward. Thank you for completing today's commissions. Here is your reward. Oh, you shouldn't have. Except you totally should. This is a token of the guild's gratitude. We receive many new commissions every day, and without the efforts of each and every adventurer, there is no way we could respond to them all. If you complete enough commissions each day, you will be eligible to claim a special reward from me. Your adventurer handbook keeps a record of how many adventures you complete each day. Make sure you claim your daily rewards on the days that you complete sufficient adventures. There is a limited quantity of rewards, so it will become forfeit should you not claim it. You are more than welcome. After all, you are the one helping me. And please note that helping a fellow adventurer to complete a commission also counts towards your eligibility for a daily reward. We encourage you to work actively with your fellow adventurers. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. <laughs> Ad 
Ad Astra Ab. Ad Astra Ab. Ad Astra Ab.
Greetings, I am Timaeus, researcher of alchemy. Welcome to Mondstadt. Alchemy is a craft that has been passed down since ancient times, but it is barely understood in the present. Its mechanisms are magical and mysterious, completely unlike the principles that shape our understanding of the physical world. 
If we can get the hang of this, we should be able to create some pretty awesome stuff. This must be your alchemist's workbench. That's right. Why not give it a go yourself? You'll be fine. The procedure's actually very simple. If you're interested, I could show you the basics. All we are really doing is following the methods of the ancients as best we can. Much as one who uses a wind glider needs not understand how it was built in order to glide. The difference with alchemy is that every time I think I finally understand how it's supposed to work, something totally unexpected happens. Hey! You shall have no other Paimon before this Paimon! <laughs> Unfortunately, my skills are n There's a lot of other mysterious recipes I have to research first. Over the course of your adventures, you should come across some alchemist notes from ancient civilizations. And as your adventure rank increases, more recipes will become available to you. You're welcome. I look forward to hearing more about your exploits. Well, see you next time. May the wind bring you good fortune on your path ahead.
Come take a look. Fifteen.
If you're borrowing a book, please register it in the log. The restricted section is currently not lending any books. Oh, it's you, little cutie. It's so good to see you. More refreshing than a strong cup of tea in the afternoon. Clearly you're meant to be working, but you don't seem to have your heart in it at all. I mean, other than Jean, who really works that earnestly anyway? So, did you have something you needed? Or did you just come to see me? Ooh, a smooth talker. Not what I was expecting. So, Miss Librarian, got any books to recommend? Hmm, recommended books. Sadly, everything I'd personally recommend is all in the restricted section, which we're not currently lending out. What's with your ominous tone? Oh, right. Would you be interested in checking out the Devat Travel Guide? I think it would be quite helpful for you as travelers here. Ooh, sounds like it could be helpful. Do you think we could take a peek? <sighs> I suppose I can try to find you a copy from the list. Isn't this Lisa's job? What does she mean, I suppose? Oh dear, that's unfortunate. Our copy is currently being borrowed. That said, it is now overdue. Come to think of it, quite a few of our books are now overdue. <sighs> I really wish people would just return their books... on time. Whoa, is Paimon imagining things, or does the air in here suddenly feel a lot more... electrified? <sighs> Such a pain. <sighs> I'm going out to bring those unreturned books back. If you'd rather get your hands on that copy of the Tevat Travel Guide sooner, you'd better come with me. Uh, Lisa seems really scary right now. Paimon thinks it would be best if you answer her. You really are such a considerate cutie. Let's see. First, we can go to... The Souvenir Shop. It's called With Wind Comes Glory. So let's meet there shortly. Astra Abyssal.
Take your pick. No fine, no. My strength still fails me. You're here. Let's begin, shall we? Hello, Marjorie. Any exciting new items in stock? Why so surprised? Today is such a special day. It's only natural that I'd want a souvenir to remember it by. Since we came all this way, why don't we put our official business to one side for a moment? All work and no play makes life terribly mundane. <laughs> Well, if it's a souvenir you're after, you're in the right place. I'm sure you'll find something that strikes your fancy, Lisa. Or you could let your new friend pick something out for you. Make it more of an occasion. Yes, yes, let us pick. Take a look around. There's sure to be something she'll love. Take a look around. There's sure to... This pair? Soft, puffy, and very comfortable. Certain to make a little girl, well, in this case a woman, look quite adorable. After all, they're the same kind worn by toy dolls. They're practically a badge of cuteness. Bloomers? I'm sure to attract some strange looks if I dress up like a small child in public. Do you have some strange hobby you're not telling me about? Are you sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. Take a look around. This is the toy doll I was talking about earlier. Doesn't she look lovely in those shorts? Hmm. It does look a little bit terrifying, doesn't it? I wonder if you could find some other use for it. Voodoo doll? Have you lost your mind? What could I have possibly done to deserve this? Are you sure? Can't change again? Take a look around. There's sh Me? You're asking me? Uh, I feel like Lisa is the well-educated type. Ah, oh, that's right. I heard she enjoys items of historical interest. Take a look around. There's sure to be something she'll love. This is a new arrival. It took three adventurers to carry this big boy back from the ruins. It comes with a lot of history, as well as a lot of what Hmm. You do have strange tastes. If this is your way of saying you want to be my knight in shining armor, I'd rather you just say the words instead. Are you sure? Can't change again once you've made- I suppose it's not completely useless. I'll let Razor borrow it when it's time for his enhancement training. Goodness, is that the time? <sighs> Marjorie, one last thing. About the legend of Vanessa. Oh, so you're a fan of the gallant lady Vanessa too? Why didn't you say so? I have all sorts of items I could recommend. For example, this lion's tooth pendant with Vanessa's name carved into it. It was once a medal awarded to a knight by the great lady herself. Hmm. Oh my goodness. I do apologize. I got so excited when you mentioned Vanessa. I didn't know that book was overdue, even though I take it with me everywhere. I can't believe I didn't put two and two together as soon as I saw you here. <laughs> here you go. <sighs> well, since you look up to Lady Vanessa so very much, please be more punctual next time. 
Yes, Lisa. I will be Lisa. Let's go and find the next overdue book. Welcome to Good Hunter. Table for two? Three! Oh, <laughs> my apologies. Please sit wherever you like and call me over once you're ready to order. So we're gonna eat first and bring up the book situation later? Why, of course. The stress of work really takes the pleasure out of eating, don't you think? Work is that bad, huh? What does Lisa like to eat? She's been here a few times with Master Jean for afternoon tea before. I think she normally orders something vegetarian. A lady tends to eat cautiously on account of her physique, after all. On that note, I should probably be watching my own diet a little more. Why don't you order us something, cutie? I'm ever so curious to know what your tastes are. I imagine that making a good vegetable soup takes good quality ingredients, cooked in the right order at the... At least, those are the principles that apply when one is making potions. But from what I've heard, soup making was a popular pastime among the witches of the past. Are you sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. Mm, finished ordering. Sit here. It's been getting quite busy oh. recently. A fine choice. I'm pleasantly surprised. A truly enchanting dish. Certainly a good fit for a witch. I am simply brimming with elemental energy after that. Ugh, I'm on so full. Time is getting on. I suppose I should carry on with this ghastly thing called work. Let's have a little chat with Sarah about her library book. Would you like to order something else? No, thank you. We're quite satisfied. But I'm afraid I must ask you about the boar princess. The boar brisket? <laughs> I'm sorry. I think we took that off the menu. Hmm... <sighs> She means the book you borrowed! Oh, of course! I came straight to the restaurant after I borrowed it and completely forgotten that I even had it! I'm so sorry, Lisa. I will bring it to the library myself as soon as I finish work. Hmm. 
Okay then, but make sure you don't forget this time. Right, on to our next stop then, cutie. call for the day welcome uh couples are our specialty let me know what you'd like and i'll wrap them up nicely for you ah uh, yes now which book was it that has the line a date without flowers is a date without romance uh, take the hint <laughs> never mind your ignorance is somehow rather adorable since you're here, and Lisa is here, and this is a flower shop, you might as well get a bunch of flowers, right? It only makes sense. Some flowers for Miss Lisa? What would you like? Some flowers for Miss Lisa? Dandelions? Some flowers for Miss Lisa? What would you like? Dandelions are one of our classics. I know what you're thinking. Most flower shops don't sell dandelions. They are a nuisance to care for. Perhaps Miss Flora likes the sense of floating away to a faraway land. Come to think of it, Miss Flora- You sure? Can't- Dandelions? They actually sell dandelions? They have a refreshing scent, similar to the one Jean wears. Thank you. Okay, time to get back to business. Donna, do you know why we're here? Back to business? My business is selling flowers. <sighs> Once again, we see a total lack of respect for literature. The Pale Princess and the Six Pygmies. Ring a bell? Oh, uh, yes. Well, what happened was... Uh, was... Oh no, what am I gonna do? I... I lost the book. <sighs> a while back, I realized it was almost due, and I was getting ready to bring it back to the library. But I couldn't find it anywhere. I looked for days, but nothing. It's like somebody stole it. It should have been there, on my bedside table, right where I left it. Uh-oh. That Lisa does some crazy things when she gets mad. I heard that. Well, if it really was stolen, Donna's done nothing wrong. The blame lies with the book thief. And their punishment will be three, no, ten times worse than stealing my book. Like Paimon said, totally crazy! Oh, don't worry about that. As long as I remain librarian, not a single book will go missing for good. I put a unique elemental marker on each book. Our thief will have left a nice set of clues for us to follow. When did Lisa start taking her job so seriously? Paimon always thought she was a total slacker. Hey, sweetie. I've heard your elemental sensitivity is very strong. Why not see what you can do? Elemental sensitivity? Oh, Paimon's got it! Use your elemental sight to look for clues! Fresh fruit only at Queen's Fruit. Give me a better price. Green pie. That's what I'll make tonight.
Looking at the elemental traces, it does seem likely that the book was stolen. So Donna didn't do anything wrong after all! It's not from the restricted section, so it's hardly a book worth stealing. Whoever wanted this book so badly had a strange fixation indeed. Hmm... So, what do we do now? The elemental traces are very faint, but I can tell that the thief took it beyond the city walls. You must see it too, right, cutie? Let's follow the trail and have a look where our thief was headed, shall we? traces are strong here, but it seems our thief did not stay for long. The trail keeps going. Let's keep looking. Further than I thought. Quite the intrepid explorer, our little thief. Maybe we frighten the turtle back inside his shell!
It must be nearby. Using elemental sight, you can even detect magic. Follow the flow of magic to find the book. Inside ruins? The Mondstadt people do have some strange quirks. Please do not jump to such a preposterous conclusion about the living habits of Mondstadt's residents. This seems far more likely to be the work of some none too friendly troublemakers. It's like you can read my mind. This is more likely to be the Abyss Order's doing. They do seem to have a way of slipping in and out of places like ghosts, after all. Also, there's an elemental seal at the entrance. It looks like the result of an abyss mage's magic. A seal? How are we gonna break it? Is this gonna turn into another huge ordeal? <laughs> Not to worry. If you think a little magic can keep me out, think again. Why is that? Come on. Whoa. So this is what Lisa's like when she's hard at work. Go all the way inside? If you borrow a book, you have to return it. There will be no exceptions.
How did you find this place? It's so well hidden! I have no interest in finding out where you little rascals hide yourselves away, but I do want my book back. Tell me, how is it that you have the time to conceal your stronghold and apply a magic seal, but not to sign out a library book in the proper manner? You have no respect whatsoever for other people's work. You... you just want... the book? I was unaware that anyone in Mondstadt was concerned with unearthing the secret hidden inside this book. Who... who are you? The librarian. Although I believe that should be quite clear already. Return the book. This is an ultimatum. <laughs> Since you insist on concealing your identity, I have all the less reason to give you that book. After all, it contains... the secret. Huh? Wh wh what are you doing? Such concentrated elemental power! P please don't! Hmm. Naughty boys who don't do what they're told need a little punishment to keep them in line. <sighs> this is why I call it troublesome work. We'll just need to find the book ourselves. It should be around here somewhere. thing it isn't damaged. Otherwise... Otherwise what? Are you telling me you have even more crazy punishments up your sleeve? <laughs> I would have probably have needed to dish out a little taste of one of my potions in that case. Uh... Then again, as I said, it isn't from the restricted section, which is the only reason I would let the average citizen borrow it in the first place. And it doesn't appear to have any abnormal elemental properties, save for the markings I put on it. Yeah, it seems like just an average storybook. As far as my duties as a librarian go, my troublesome work is finished. Since this book has piqued your interest, why don't I let you borrow it? There's no time limit for you. I will register you as custodian rather than borrower. This is an exclusive privilege reserved for trusted citizens only. Exclusive privilege? Why does Paimon feel this is just your sneaky way of offloading your troublesome work onto someone else? Excuse me? Are you in some way dissatisfied with my work? Good. You're amenable to reason then. <sighs> I do wish I could keep you by my side as my personal assistant. My work here is done. I'm going back. Don't forget to register at the library when you have a spare moment.
a chest is like a unwrapping a gift. You've returned. The paperwork is done. You are now the custodian of this book. Thank you, Miss Lisa. But Paimon thinks we're forgetting something. Look, over there on the shelf. Isn't that the Tavat travel guide? And look how many copies there are. <laughs> the Tavat Travel Guide is a serial publication. It is not part of the library's formal collection. Oh. Take one. Consider it your compensation for being Lisa's little helper today. With you by my side, my troublesome work was a little less dull than usual. Hmm. The Tavat Travel Guide was just bait to get us to do a day's work. I hadn't anticipated that a few routine returns inquiries would take us out of the city, let alone down into some underground ruins. As compensation for dragging you into all this bother, take these souvenirs. Wow! Lisa went and bought us some special souvenirs! In fact, they were intended for our next outing. But, never mind. We can discuss next time's activity when the time comes. I hope you are looking forward to it. <sighs> Yeah. <laughs>